Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So I wanted to come out here and talk about the whole Sin Santana situation. So if you guys remember a few months ago, I was talking about the clip that she did a few years back on lip service with Angela Yee, where basically she was saying that black men cater to Latino women. And so that clip resurfaced and it went viral all over social media. So now fast forward to two days ago, she's basically on the reel and now she's backtracking and pussy popping, honey, and apologizing and saying that she didn't mean it like that. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out both of these clips and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Possessive though. Ridiculous. Hispanic yeah. men are way more possessive. And yeah. black guys cater to, to us Spanish girls especially like they you know what let me not even get into uh -oh, that she's gonna get herself in trouble now the black girls <laughs> yeah they're gonna be not, like, i, I didn't mean it like that but you know black girls gonna take it personal you'll be like uh-uh <laughs> no but um you actually caught some flack I from did. what you said do you have anything you want to say about that um okay so that topic is so layered mm -hmm. Um, I would love to like dive deep into it, but I know we, we're, we're like short on time here, right? Mm -hmm. So I do want to speak on that, yeah, because that was uh, that was definitely tough and a learning moment for me. Um, I think what happened was, well, the, we were talking about our experiences with men yes. mm -hmm. and di different men, races, and ethnicities, and just comparing our experiences. I think what happened was I poorly articulated myself and I irresponsibly repeated something that I heard. Excuse me that I heard my entire life. I'm a little nervous because... No, that's okay. Right. Right. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Um, but th this was a tough moment for me in my life. Oh. I, I feel like I poorly articulated myself mm -hmm. and I irresponsibly repeated something that I heard throughout my teenage years. Which was? Which was, you know, the whole, like, oh, black men love Spanish women mm -hmm. or Latinas, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, people took that message wrongly. Like, that's not, that's not what I meant. Mm -hmm. um, and for that, I do apologize. I have apologized. I would love to talk about it. Like, yeah. that's something that I think it's important to talk about. What was the, the issue? The offense. Um, I just think the wording, I, people just, I feel like people misconstrued it. Okay. <laughs> like, they, like, maybe you felt like you were saying they only, only... like Latina women. Was that... I feel like because I use words like cater and especially, uh, they felt like I was dividing uh, us. Yeah, and I was and not. not dividing us. No. That learning moment, I got you. That's that what you just dissected yeah. is what's yeah. important. Yeah. You yeah. just dissected that. Yeah. You took and I acknowledge for it. One yeah. million percent. Yeah. I acknowledge uh, what I said and how people perceived it and how, yeah. how, how it can hurt them. You know exactly. What I mean? We how appreciate that. that. Yeah. Especially yeah. me yeah. being a black woman. Yeah. Yeah. That would yeah. help. And I, appre I appreciate y'all for asking me yeah. that because I never really publicly spoke about that because yeah. it's very uncomfortable mm -hmm. and it's yeah. such a sensitive thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, everybody, I, people are just gonna be like, oh, she's just saying sorry. And no, that I'm speaking from the heart. I was yeah. 20, I was that. 22, 23. I'm 27 with a yeah. son now. All right, so you guys just saw what Sin Santana had to say. Now, I will say this. I do believe that she is sorry and she is being apologetic sincerely. But I also feel like she's only apologizing because she was caught and she faced backlash. Because, again, this clip is old as hell. It's not like she said it in 2019. She said it years ago and she never addressed it and apologized until she got backlash. Now, like I stated in my video, I don't disagree with what she said. I believe that many black men have told her, you know what I'm saying, that she's better than regular black women and, you know, have so-called catered to her more. But I think there is a big divide, you know, with black women and Latina women, especially like in places like New York and in Miami and things like that. And I think that some Latina women, they do get gassed up because a lot of black, you know, put them on this pedestal. They think Latina women are better. You know, they talk about them, you know, in a better light. The sad part is, and I think why a lot of people are hurt and mad is because low key, it's true. Low key, a lot of black men, especially in hip hop, even in the damn pro black community, they tend to big up Latina women. But Ariana from Bogolo, she from Florida. Kiki Palmer, she's great. I battle, but you know what I'm saying? I don't really like, I don't really like, um, black girls like that. Some sort of kind of Taylor Swift, great. J Lo, Jennifer Lopez. You know what I mean? Cardi.
gotta be. They tend to think that Latina women are the best of both worlds. They have the hair, they have the skin tone, not too light, not too dark. They're not white women, but then they're not black women. So, so it's like walking this fine line, you know? So I think that's where a lot of the hurt came from when she said that, because I do believe that that's what she was told. She can try and play it off and say that, you know, it was a personal experience and, you know, try and switch the subject and start talking about the N-word and Spanish and all this other shit. But I don't for a second doubt that a bunch of black guys from damn Dykeman and Washington Washington Heights or whatever gassed her up you know what I mean she's a pretty girl you know what I'm saying so they probably told her that she was better than the regular black girls you know her features were better than the regular black girls because we see it time and time again where you have some self-hating black guys who will put other races of women before black women okay this is not nothing new this is not a strange phenomenon she's not saying anything that people have not heard you know what I'm saying in New York in the hood in the suburbs I've heard that time and time again okay my issue is when she was talking to Angela Yee, she knew what she was saying was problematic because the first thing she said is that the black girls are going to take it personal. So she knew what she was saying because for her to say that black girls are going to take it personal, she knew that what she was saying was wrong and she really should have kept the bullshit to herself, okay? That is why she received the backlash that she received. We're not saying that you weren't told this. You know, she's a pretty Latina woman. I'm sure she heard that her whole life. But did it need to be announced to the public? It's just another thing to cause divide between women. You know, we got enough bullshit with the colorism, with the featureism. And then, you know, we have the black women here and the Latina women here. And when it comes down to it, a lot of Latina women do have black ancestry in them. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how much and what their features look like and if they even want to acknowledge their African ancestry. But that's a whole nother damn video. At the end of the day, I don't care who anybody dates. You can date outside your race. You can date black men, Asian men, black women, white women. Do you. Because again, like I always tell y'all, I can't date the world. There's only one in me, okay? So I don't care who people date. My issue has always been just because you're in an interracial relationship does not then give you the right to disrespect women of that race. Or if you're a black man in an interracial relationship, that doesn't give you the right to then disrespect your own women. That's my only issue with interracial dating. If you're in love with that person, you guys are living y'all's best, you know, interracial life, that's fine. But you shouldn't have to knock your own people to uplift your white wife or your Mexican wife or your Latina wife. You know what I'm saying? Do you and live your life. Just like if you're a Latina woman or a Mexican woman or whatever, you shouldn't have to disrespect and disparage black women because you're, you know what I'm saying, because you're bouncing up and down on black pain, okay? Get that pain, bitch. Believe us out the damn conversation okay so that's my issue with this situation but like I said I do feel like sin was apologetic I do feel like she's coming out sincere and I hope that this is a learning lesson especially being that your child is basically a black male okay he got you know he got black features his daddy's black so you're raising a black son for the most part you know what I'm saying we know he's half you know Dominicana and all that stuff but for the most part I'm sure he'll be identifying as black if his father has anything to do with it so you don't want to instill those old old racist ideologies in your son. So I'm glad that they held her feet to the fire. So I'm glad that this was brought up and I'm glad that they questioned her about it. But I just, you know me, I don't like all that backtracking, all that mush mouth bullshit. You said it, stand in it 10 toes down and apologize. All that my words were misconstrued, your words were not misconstrued. This wasn't a chopped and screwed interview. Those are the words that came out of your mouth and you knew that what you were saying was wrong because then you followed it up by saying, oh no, the black girls are gonna take it personal. So nothing was misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? We understood where you were coming from in hell. As a black woman, I agree with you because I've heard black men tell women of other races that, okay? So I don't think that she lied about anything. But again, just stand in it and don't try and lie so that you were misconstrued and, you know, everything was misinterpreted and there's something wrong with my ears. No, bitch. There's something wrong with your mouth, okay? I heard what the hell I heard, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Sin Santana on the real, basically, you know, explaining 
what she meant by that whole comment and her apologizing. Do you guys forgive her? Do you guys, you know, feel like she was, you know, misinterpreted and her words were misconstrued? Or do you feel like, no, she needs to own it and just apologize and move on? And then do you guys feel like she's being sincere in what she's saying? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.